Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So currently it's a bit difficult time for all dollar arrivals, not just for gold, but in the forex market you can see the performance on the euro currency for example, which just collapsed for the 1 to 12 area recently and setting the new daily lows. In the gold market, although uh, in general we can't say that the upper tendency of the high lows and high highs has been failed, it's just because to do this market has to bro break through the 1750. But in general, the fact that market was not able to create the new top here, it's also is a warning sign for for the gold, suggesting that the gold could keep going lower. In general, theoretical invalidation point, as we said, for a daily chart is 1750. So drop below it tells us that market is turning to the larger scale of the downside swing on the daily on the weekly chart. So it means that this upper tendency will be over, and we should think of the larger the, 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 the uh, larger scale, so it might be some treated as this swing down consolidation and downside continuation. So on the breakout of the 1750, it should be probably significantly deeper downward action on the gold market as well. In a very short term uh, period, within the few sessions, um, truly big chances that gold could trip slightly lower, just because of the two reasons. First of all, if you take a look at the cross market analysis on the interest rates, you could see. We, yes, we have the weekly butterfly, but it has not quite reached the target, which is 193, 194 area. And now, uh, although we do not see the, the dynamic of the interest rates, uh, that which should not make significant impact on the gold, still, let's take a look at some kind of the triangle and skull consolidation stand here, which is supposedly might be treated as the patient's preparation to final spike up to complete. Uh, the target of the butterfly. So it means that in the nearest time, interest rates could rise a bit more, which also will be a negative uh, moment for for the gold. But currently, in a more degree, if you take a look at the dollar index, you can see just a rally on the weekly chart of the dollar index. And market currently not at ever bad, and uh, it has not reached yet the major resistance. So here still stands some distance for the major 618 FIB level. It's all time. 618 level, it's very important resistance for the dollar. And uh, taking it all together that interest rates might spike a bit higher and the uh, dollar could move slightly higher, it tells us that within the few sessions, gold probably should remain under some, some, on some pressure and could keep going a bit lower. But at the same time, currently for the gold, it's a very tricky moment because if you take a look at the full time frame chart, you will see that market actually already stands at the 790. It's last 618 support. And it will be interesting to see how market will respond on the support area with a pressing outside, with a rising dollar and with the rising interest rates. Meantime, currently, it's definitely not the good point for taking new positions on the daily chart because we are stand in a bearish trend on the daily, so we do not have even the context for taking the new long positions, right? So we need to get some bullish signs might be formed on lower time frame to make the decision on whether to take position or not. It means that currently the all thing that we could do is just to deal with some intraday patterns, intraday trading stops. And one of them might be formed on the four hour time frame chart. So if you take a look here, we have very good frost down. It's just perfect. And forming any potential pattern here, this might be interesting. For example, forming the brand by the cell, it will be great because we could take the part in the possible downward continuation on the gold market. It's a relatively safe chance to go short with the pullback somewhere to 18.11, 18.10 area. Uh, maybe the double rebound will be formed, but in current situation, the brand battle seems a bit more probable. Um, that's actually all that we could do and could see currently on the gold. Uh, for the trading on the higher time frames, I mean daily or maybe even weekly, so at this moment, we do not see good healthy background. Uh, mostly because of the anticipating uh, some pressure from the other uh, reasons or other factors such as the dollar strength, interest rates rising, 
on the gold and uh, because currently with this recent sell-off and we don't have actually any bullish performance even on the lower time frames which, which makes well no context for taking the long position by far on the hourly chart you also could see nothing else actually this market has dropped and here is well just dynamic price actions nothing else so that's why we think that uh, we could keep an eye on the possible patterns here on the forward time frame chart but mostly to be honest guys it, since today is friday already maybe it makes sense just to wait and see what will happen on the next week